mama, when I was little, used to make us waffles, and she would beat the egg whites and fold them in and make them light and fluffy. And I don't know why, but when I went to bed last night, all I could think of is mama's waffles. One of the things, of course, my griddle's already on, and it's hot. I have to melt some butter. A half a stick. So I am going to put this in my microwave right quick. I was going to do one in the mixer, but I'll just do it this way. So I'm just going to separate three eggs. Because you're going to beat your whites and fold them into your batter. That's what Mama always did. Now you can make a lot of different kinds of waffles with this recipe. You can add coconut to it. You can add nuts to it. You can add fruit to it. Um, but we're just going to make the basic waffles this morning. Now our favorite sausage is Swaggerty. Um, that's just what we like. They're a good flavor. It's usually in the frozen section. Sometimes you can find it in the fresh meat section. But we just buy it frozen. Keep it in the freezer. Throw the frozen patties in when we get ready to cook them. So we're going to put these egg whites in my mixer. And now I'm not making meringue. I'm just beating up the egg whites. So it takes that two minutes. So you need to go ahead and get it started. Now we're going to sift two cups of flour. Let's put our soda and salt and baking powder in here. So we're going to have uh, a tablespoon of sugar. So it's all-purpose flour. Do what? So it's all-purpose flour. Yeah, it's all-purpose flour. We're going to do uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. And let me say this about baking powder while I'm on the subject. I guess y'all can hear me over this mixer. Um, baking powder gets old really quick. So if you make something that's not rising, it's probably because you ain't bought any new baking powder. Soda is a teaspoon. And salt is a half a teaspoon. So we're going to go ahead and sift this. Those eggs are almost done already. Okay, we're going to use two cups of buttermilk. first. It'll be easy to mix up that way. So I got two cups of buttermilk. You can use sweet milk if you like sweet milk waffles. But we like buttermilk and everything. Get some vanilla. The recipe don't call for vanilla, but I'm going to put some in there. Um, this is an old cookbook. and I mean, it's got everything in it. It's got Southern griddle cakes. It's got Sunday waffles, potato pancakes. It's old as the hills. Um, it's called the Edition of Cook Encyclopedia Cookbook. But it is a good cookbook. It's one mama wore slap out, and I remember her opening up this cookbook when she made her waffles. I do remember that. So that's what I'm doing this morning. And a lot of y'all probably thinking, 
Yeah. Okay. You use the three egg yellows. The whites are beat up in the mixer. Now, a lot of y'all probably thinking, I can't believe you're doing this this morning. But I'm really not. I mean, I'm say, of course, I'll miss my mama, but she suffered for a long time. She's been bedridden for about six months. I'm going to put a tablespoon of sugar in here. And it's a blessing when you know Jesus is your personal Savior and you know you got a home in heaven. Let me tell you this. I never, because nobody this close to me has ever passed away, I have never loved Jesus any more than I love him today for giving us eternal life in heaven. So, I'm in a celebrating mood and I'm making Mama's waffles. All right, so we're going to slide this back out of the way. And I'm going to add my flour. And we're going to mix this up. Waffle iron. Let's finish mixing this up. Get sidetracked. It already looks fluffy. Not even folded in the egg wash yet. So beat it pretty good. You don't want lumps of flowers. Flour. It smells good. It smells like a doggone cake mix, kind of. All right. You make waffles, you gotta have a big bowl. You pour your batter in here. And I do not like Belgian waffles. I don't like those big holes because I like the old-fashioned little waffle iron and you can't even hardly find them anymore. Because to me they're crunchier because the Belgian waffles. When you fill them full of syrup, they just turn to mush. Now we're just going to fold the egg whites into the batter. And you just fold them in. It's that simple. That's what makes them fluffy and crunchy. So, if you don't do the extra step, and it only takes a minute if you've got a KitchenAid mixer to beat up some egg whites. Not a big deal. So, just fold them in like that. And now we're going to make a waffle. Now, I haven't made one in a while. It's not something we eat all the time. So, if it Flows out of the waffle iron somewhat, right? So I would think a half a cup would probably do it. So we'll just use a half cup scoop and see what happens. And I'd rather them be too little than too big and come out the edges. So you just close your waffle iron. I've got it turned up to four. If you like them dark, you know, you can turn it up to five. I like my waffles dark and crunchy. I don't like them light. So I got it turned all the way up. Okay, it's green. Green means go. It's ready. So let's get Chris a plate. I'm making two, so I'm going to go ahead and drop another one. But that's the way I like them like that. If you let it cool off just a second, it won't get soggy on the bottom. Let me get some. The steam from it is going to make it uh, soft. I'm going to taste a piece of butter on it. Taste like mama's. Yummy. I haven't had a waffle in so long. And um, it was just on my mind. Bye, y'all. Love ya. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did by a cookbook. Hit the like button and subscribe. Love ya. Bye.